What is up, everybody? It is Wick here. We are about to go out, look for some things that we can flip online. I got a few items to ship out. I'm going to show you what I sold. We got these X Files DVDs. Just picked these up at a yard sale. I paid a dollar a piece for the complete season and a few other DVDs here. And I sold them for $120 plus shipping. Finding complete seasons at garage sales is a great way to make some extra money. I've made a lot of money on DVDs. Here is an incredible flip. I got these Tempur-Pedic sleep mask at a yard sale. I paid a quarter a piece for these, brand new, and I got $80 for them. It's pretty good when you can take 50 cents and flip it into $80. Uh, I sold another one I found at Goodwill a couple months ago. Got about 30 some dollars for that one as well. So definitely something to keep an eye out for. Sold this sealed model. I got 15 no, I got $16 for it. I paid $3 for it at Goodwill. Really happy to see these multi-testers sell. Uh, I bought these at Goodwill. paid $5 a piece for them. Thought they were going to be great flips. They were super clean when I opened the box. Looked like they had never been used. But when I went to list them, I opened the battery cover and there was a battery that exploded in one of them. And the other one was missing some of the metal pieces in the battery compartment, so it was unusable. It was past the week when I could return these to Goodwill, so I was stuck with them. I just listed them as parts, repair, explained what was wrong with them, priced them at $20 plus shipping, and they sold. I'm really happy because I thought maybe, you know, I just lost my money. But in the end, I got my money back and made a little bit of money. I had already sold a bunch of these shop vac attachments. Got these at Lowe's, paid like under a dollar for them. I got about 20 of them, was selling them for $15, $16, and found one that I must have missed. <laughs> so I listed it, it sold really quick, uh, 17 bucks. And then finally, I sold something on Amazon Merchant Fulfilled. This battery for a drone, I sold it for $20. I feel like I picked this up at Walmart and I paid like a dollar or two for it, so I didn't have much into it at all. Today, I'm hitting a few yard sales. Here's the first one I stopped at, and we're looking around on this table, trying to spot something that we can buy and flip on eBay. Panasonic phone set, some of these are good. I don't think this was a good one. They wanted $10 for it. Uh, I was looking for the, the Bluetooth symbol. Some of those are really good. Uh, underneath that junk over there, though, you can see a VCR, RCA. I did end up grabbing that. Uh, some baskets. <laughs> I don't pay attention to baskets. I know I, I probably should. I know there's some good ones. Not something I particularly enjoy looking through. There's uh, some KitchenAid stuff, and it's priced just a little too high, unfortunately, to make any money. Uh, like $50, $60 I think they were. I'm not even sure if they were new. Had some uh, tools down here that were also priced a bit too high. Uh, like $100 I think they were. There's some books. Um, nothing great that I saw. I've been selling a lot of car manuals. Uh, that's what those were. And uh, those weren't as good as the ones, the GM Corvette ones I picked up recently. So I ended up passing up on those. And here we're in this garage, bouncing the camera around like crazy. Bunch of Christmas stuff, nothing for me. I do buy vintage Christmas stuff, blow molds, stuff like that, but I didn't see any. At this sale though, I'm walking up here and I see something right away. I'm very excited to see this HP toner. I'm like, oh, this is big money. Even has some rainbow vacuums right there, which I passed on because they were a bit too high. But I ended up getting a couple other items here that were actually amazing. One item, there's a comp that sold for $1,200 on there. So, of course, I'll go over that at home once we go over everything I bought today. At this sale, some baseball bats, some nice looking ones, uh, priced way too high. Uh, some of them were $40. Maybe they're worth it. Maybe there's some good ones in there, but I don't really don't want to pay $40 for a bat, even if it's like a $150 bat. Um, probably not going to pay that much for it because I, it's hard to tell if they're cracked sometimes. Um, I've bought them before and I just noticed, oh, this little crack I missed because I could, I didn't look at it close enough. So we're in this crowded garage sale, a lot of people in here. There's Toy Story, Yahtzee Jr. Um, passed on it because it looked like it was probably missing pieces. Uh, typewriter right there though, I did pick up that. At this sale, we're looking around, there's some hats over there. I did end up grabbing one of the hats, uh, some magazines. Now, this sale looked like it was probably like a flea market sale. Uh, maybe somebody that used to set up at a flea market or something. 
Uh, just what it looked like to me. There's a Stephen King book, Quarter. We're going to pick that up. Some other interesting books that I went through. Uh, did not end up seeing anything that was really worth picking up. Uh, some of these older ones, I did a quick eBay search on a couple of them. I uh, didn't see, didn't seem promising, so we just kept moving along. And here's a box of watches. Um, watches are good, usually. Some watches anyways. A lot of these were just really beat up. There's like a couple car ones, like Ford, but then I see these John Deere. John Deere ones are in pretty good condition. I didn't know what the price was. I ended up getting them for a dollar a piece. I may have just bought some more if I knew they were that cheap, because even for parts, maybe somebody would have wanted them. So, yeah, we're just looking around now, and there's a display case, another sign that it could be a flea market seller. A lot of things already had prices on them. Uh, it looked like old prices from somewhere else. You got the display cases. Here's some of these Christmas Carol Town lights uh, for little small Christmas towns. End up buying a few of these because you know, make some money on them. Others look like they were open. So, yeah, I didn't want to buy the ones that look like they might have been opened. Never know about stuff like that. And that's some clothing here. I didn't find any good clothing today. Wasn't a lot of sales to hit. Wasn't a lot of good ones. After that second sale where I found all that amazing stuff, just kind of died off. There's a Sirius XM kind of boombox thing. Uh, pretty sure it was empty in there. Felt like it. Didn't have a price on it anyway. Plus they were playing music, so it was probably playing from that. They just had it out there. Uh, so wasn't worried about buying that. Looking around here at this sale, uh, what are we looking? There's some books, some small appliances, a printer, uh, what is that, electronic? This this footage should not, this, this, this is from another day. This wasn't even from that day I went, I don't know. Um, must have got mixed in here somehow. I have, I go to way too many garage sales. I record so much. Uh, I don't even know if I used this footage in the actual day I went to this sale because I don't even know if garage sales are happening, but <laughs> here we are looking in here. Um, I didn't find anything in here. I remember that much. So yeah, sorry about that. If this was already in a vlog. Um, yeah, so yeah, just some sheets in there. Here we are at this sale, and this was the last sale I went to this morning, and unfortunately, I start looking at this stuff, and I start noticing that I've seen this stuff before. I know I haven't been to this house, but a couple weeks ago, I was at a sale where most of this stuff was. So this is about 30 minutes away from there, so apparently these two people know each other. I knew for sure when I saw the Bioshock and the Angry Birds there, because uh, the sale, I bought some Polly Pockets and stuff, and they had the, the Polly Pockets I didn't buy because they were so beat up. They were still here, and some of these uh, Air Hogs things and the Nerf guns, I just remembered it all. Uh, even some of the shoes over here, I see these Brooks shoes and some of these jackets, I'm like, oh no. How did this happen? Like, why is this stuff over here 30 minutes away? So yeah, unfortunately I did not find anything. I assume there's just two people that know each other and just kind of combine the, the garage sale with the friend that didn't sell all their stuff at the previous community sale or whatever. Some games, unfortunately you saw the games there, nothing special at all. Uh, but turned out to be one of the best hauls of the year, thanks to that one house. And let me show you what I got there. Uh, great pickups. Did not find a whole lot today, but what I found is very good quality. I think this is going to be one of the best hauls of the year just because of that. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing, let's just talk about this ink, uh, I guess is what it is, some sort of toner. Before I even got into this garage sale, I noticed this. I, at first I thought it said 400 it says 40 I ended up getting it for $35, but 400 would have been a fair price because this thing sells for over $500. I believe on Amazon it was about $550, of course. HP is a restricted brand on Amazon. They're very protective of their ink. However, I will sell this on eBay. I should be able to sell this for between $350 and $400. Should sell no problem. The lady told me she got it from her work and it was something to do with printing checks or something. When I went to pay for the ink, I saw a couple items. Uh, first one is this Sony uh, CD changer. It's not focusing very well, is it? 
CD changer and recorder. With the remote, I paid $20 for this and it's gonna sell on Amazon easily with the remote for $450. Another amazing find. And then I saw these Nike Jordan shoes. I saw the, the paper cutouts. I'm like, are these something special? She told me her mother picked them up years ago, back in 2002, actually, when they first came out. They tried to talk her mom into not buying these, that she didn't need them but I guess she just wanted them for whatever reason. I'm assuming her mother must have passed away and they're just selling these. I paid $25 for them. Uh, let me show you. You can see that they were in a case. Uh, there's, if you can see it, it says $25. Uh, they're in a nice case. They've never been worn. They're new. It's got the CD, the paperwork in there. Uh, you can see they still got the peel thing on this shoe. Unfortunately, the peels off of this shoe, it must have just fell off due to age. What's even more interesting is she printed out stuff. Like, I guess she thought these were something very special, and I guess in a way they are now. You can see the eBay post from 2002. She did not buy these from eBay at first. I thought she may have bought them for eBay and they are counterfeit. I did some research, and these seem to be 100% legit. There's a finish line. UPC on there where she bought them at finish line for uh, $199. There's what eBay looked like in 2002. You can see one sold for $220. So when I saw that, I said, you know what? This is definitely worth picking up uh, $25. And when I looked it up, I was pleasantly surprised. Seems like the ones that are new like this in this kind of condition are selling really high. There were three solds and one sold for $1,200 with one bid, one sold for $750, one sold for $500. Some of the pre-owned ones are selling between $250, $300 a bit more if they got this case and everything included. I'm gonna sell these new open box and I'm gonna price them $1,000 <laughs> see if they sell. If one sold for $1,200, one sold for $500 and $750, I think $1,000 is definitely a possibility. If not, I think $750 is like the, the least I would take for them. If you didn't know on eBay, you can do authentication service where if you're selling a pair of shoes over $200, you can use this service. You ship it to a eBay facility where they have professionals check to make sure these are not counterfeit. And that helps the buyer um, be more confident in buying shoes like this. It's free service. So I'll probably use that. I noticed the ones that sold for big money all use the authentication service. So I think you probably get more money using that. If I can sell these for $1,000, that's gonna be one of my best flips ever. Um, pretty great for a $25 pickup. You can see how it only takes one yard sale to make a lot of money. These three items are gonna be well over $1,000. Close to, close to 2,000 if I get the prices I want. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna estimate these at about $600 profit. Uh, I do think I'll get a little bit more, but you just never know with things like this. And I don't sell a lot of super high-end Nike, so I don't know how well they're gonna move. I'll price them at 1,000 though. We'll shoot for more profit. Could always lower the price. That was the second sale. After that, I didn't find as much stuff. The first sale I stopped at, I got this RCA VCR though with the remote and paperwork. It seems like a pretty good model actually on Amazon and I think I'll be able to sell it for about $95, make about $70 profit on it. I also picked up this typewriter. I paid $5 for it. I don't remember the comps on this. I looked it up real quick, but it's very clean. She said they only used it a couple times and I figured, yeah, it's worth picking up. I think, I think it was about $40 I make on it, but I'll look it up, put it on the screen. Been doing very well with typewriters, so they've all been selling the ones I buy. They're fairly easy to test, especially if they have an ink ribbon in there. So for $5, I think it's a good pickup. For a dollar, I picked up this Pennzoil racing hat. Looks like I can sell it between $20, $25. Uh, it's vintage, pretty clean, so yeah, we picked that up. I grabbed this Rawlings baseball bat. Uh, it was $5. I was pretty sure it wasn't anything great. I didn't look it up, I just grabbed it because it was so clean. Uh, it's barely been used and I knew I could probably sell it for at least $15. And you know what? It looks like that's about right between $12, $15 plus shipping. So in the end, you know, make some money. So I picked up a couple John Deere digital watches. I paid a dollar a piece for these. They're in pretty good condition. They had a decent amount of watches there, but some of them were in pretty bad shape. I saw one similar sell for about 20 bucks. So I figure I'll just price these about $30 plus shipping and should make some money on them. Somebody will buy them. And of course I picked up this Stephen King book because it was only a quarter and I do lots of those once I get about 10. 
Last lot I sold of 10 books, I got $65 plus shipping, so I pick them up when I see them cheap. There's a garage sale that has some of these Carroll Town spotlights. Uh, they go with like the Christmas cities that you get at Lowe's. I paid attention to these because I've sold some of like the power adapters on Amazon for $50, $60 that go with these. So I figured these spotlights may be something worth picking up. Looks like they sell on eBay between $20 and $25. Probably sell them around Christmas time. People get pretty into these Christmas cities, so they pay up for this kind of stuff. They had about six or seven of these. I only picked up three because it looked like some of them had been popped open. The cord was all unwound, so I didn't want to mess with those. Um, had to pay $5 a piece for them, but I should make about $15 profit on each one but there it is everybody that's the haul for today when i first found all this stuff in the beginning i thought this is going to be like four or five thousand dollar haul in the end if i can keep it going fortunately it died off <laughs> but i'm not going to complain at all that's not a complaint very happy with what i found today i'd rather find less stuff worth more money because that saves me time listing but if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button for me you can find me on twitter and instagram flipping underscore junk this has been wick till next time